No, I'm not modding anyone right now, bro. I don't owe you a controller. First of all, you never paid me, and second of all, it's only a joystick that John Burns has never sent me, even though I paid him already. Yeah, that was good. No, that, was good shit. that was good shit. All right, so here we go. We got Fox. Fox versus Ganon. I, one of the people I respect most in this community is MHJ because of his commitment to this to Fox. I think Fox is one of the character's most beautiful games, and everyone is scared to play Fox in bracket, and it's a shame. But here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he still has commitment to Fox, uh, Kiupa, or however you say your crazy name. Dude, he's the committed Fox, bro. He played all Fox in pools. So he realized, alright, one character that really beats Fox is Pika. He knew he was playing a Pika, so he went to the ditto, alright? <laughs> is that guy's his dog? Yeah! <laughs> Dude, this kid's hilarious, bro. <laughs> Alright, yeah, nah, I, I was I was playing MHJ's Fox earlier, and the way he goes about his combo and punish game is very unique. And he, and he just has a really cool neutral. He, he moves around fast, he tries to bait you into things. And look at this combo, LD would have been proud of that one. Oh no, he thought he was going to land on stage, but J Josh can't punish him. And honestly... There's a good chance this is where Josh drops out of tournament here. Um, I think if he if he if he doesn't pull if he doesn't pull out the Pika here, there's a good chance this is the last we see of Josh Brody. His Ganon is not near the tier he plays Pika. Down smash. Oh, went for an up smash. <laughs> I would never recommend that, but it worked out, I guess. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, MHJ man, just playing the spacing game perfectly against Ganon. It's all best of five now. This is not a character lock bracket as well. And then, all right, here's some shield pressure. Yeah, yeah, for real, but look who it is. I don't think he's getting back. Oh, wait, problem, oh, that wasn't, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking with that. MHJ showing he has all the tools to win this, but Ganon is a juggernaut in this game. And his hitboxes are just so strong, dude. He, if he, if, I think it's, he has to have the strongest knockback forward air in the game. I don't know the data, I don't know the data on it, but that forward air could probably kill Fox around 70 offstage. How much you would think Ganon squats? Probably he's one of those like 450 squatters, I would say. All right, so Josh with the lead. He has a lot of damage, but Ganon has a lot of weight to him. There is an interesting weak hit YOLO forward smash. Yep, and the, le the ledge grab will be enough to take that stock. It's one to one, game one. This is what we want to see. Close sets. Both people playing pretty solid right now. Not many tech flubs. I don't know if that was one or not, but interesting option by Josh Brody nonetheless. Okay. Yeah, see, once it gets onto the platform, that's where it gets real interesting in this matchup. Because both of these guys can do a lot of pressure. That back throw at 46 almost kills Fox. Great recovery by MHJ. MHJ needs to settle down now. He needs to use lasers. Ganon does not like lasers coming at him. And he forces you to approach him. MHJ plays a great game in that regard where he uses the lasers as... Ooh! Oh, that doesn't kill! Yes, it does! MHJ takes game one. MHJ takes game one. In the loser's side of top eight. Are we just gonna stream every top eight game?
maybe we unplug those two CRTs for now. Or just unplug the extension cord. Yeah. Just to be safe. Is it? Is the, no, the, the TV, the, the table TV. Unplug that, turn the lights on after this set. This is the last set that's in the dark, boys. <laughs> oh, all right, Brody. Brody now, Brody now showing. Brody now showing why he's uh, maybe number one player in America. Uh, gonna be a tough recovery, but he all right. He does get the stage di. Keeps him alive. Ooh, actually super smart recovery option there by Josh Brody. Ganon does have armor when he does that Warlock punch, so honestly kind of unpunishable. Uh, so here we go, four stocks to one. Josh Brody just has an ability to turn it on. Ooh, great shines there by MHJ. I mean, MHJ is going to have to figure something out here. There's that down smash. That is the stock. Oh, Josh knew he had stocks to give away, so he might as well go for a flashy uh, edge guard there. I respect that decision from Josh. The one one. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm some beats this soon. All right, so let's see if MHK could switch up the neutral a little bit there because getting JB Ford, uh, something has to be wrong. <laughs> hey, no mid game coaching. No mid game coaching. Did he? Mid game? Mid game? Yeah, mid set's fine, bro. During. During, ah, uh, fair, fair, fair enough. No, mid-game, not mid-set. All right, see, that that's the only thing I don't like because I think it distracts the other player. <laughs> Just yell shit. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, an up B, yep, to jab up smash. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. <laughs> Did you say, go for the jab, jab, hook? Yeah. And then you do an uppercut. <laughs> oh, yeah, see that forward throw to, to forward air. It, it being that strong is just a great option for Ganon. Especially, oh, no. I've been wondering why, I've been wondering, why, oh, he tried to laser probably. Because he's been doing a lot of weird B, like missed inputs with B. Oh, you think he was trying to bait him? Oh, yes, exactly. Uh, Moses does that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want to punish him right after the punish is done, but they, yeah, they, they still can't be hit. <laughs> yeah, no, MHJ's been doing a lot of weird B stuff, and I don't know if it's because he's trying the laser or if he's just hitting B instead of A. Uh, up air, up air, forward air. Yeah, that should be a uh, pretty easy edge guard, but yep, there it is. So Josh Brody, another three stock. Man, this is uh, this is getting interesting here. I want to, I want to know if MHK, I want to know if MHK can respond to this stuff. Because it's been obvious that the past few games from, MHK, from Josh Brody. So he's staying fast. Gotta respect it. He believes in the fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Alright, so off to a great start. I may say off to a great start. Very clean stock right there. He knows what Ganon's capable of, and he's very good at using it. Ooh, wow, but at the very last end of that Ganon had to be. Nah, I 
think I've I've seen a change in Gucci here for for MHJ, and uh, he's just looking a bit more crispy, maybe a bit more polished. Wow, that could have been a nice uh, run off Nair there, but it just misses. Josh Brody is gonna be looking for his, his way out here. Um, too quiet. Yeah, you got part Yeah, of the okay. Got quiet. <laughs> it's been a long day. It got, it got a little quieter as I moved the mic towards the middle. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's been a long day. So what, what's the stream count at? Eight hours right now? We're eight hours in to just singles. <laughs> Here we go, Josh Brody. Oh, the bad oh man. Yeah, no, he goes for a lot. He goes for a lot of those, uh, what, cannon kicks? What wizard? do you call them? Is it called wizard foot? <laughs> wizard foot. A lot of, it's either it's, wizard or wizard. Like, I mean, where did that name, name come from? Is that like cannon, like, uh... That's the name of the attack in its other games. Okay. Like the other just, but just the other Smash game. Yeah. This wasn't in, like, any Legend of Zelda. Oh, I'm not a Zelda person. Yeah. Oh, uh, no? No. Uh, well, I, played, I played Ocarina of Time once. I played the first one. Okay. Link to the past. He moves the mic away. He moves the face away from the mic. Is that that Chuck 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 Ray? Ray. <laughs> Tay Zande? What happened to that guy? What happened to Tay Zande, dude? But no, we got MHA looking at a potential four stock if he gets the right combo here. But yeah, no, Josh Brody's never going to go out without a, without a play. Yeah, that was wild. That jab beat that second laser. You saw that? I thought it did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> down, uh, down air kill. All right. So, yeah, Josh Brody with a lot of work to do. There it is. There's the forward. Oh, that, that smash attack was probably... Yeah, okay. He doesn't allow it. starts a combo or something. Uh, there's a great back air. Josh Brody not out of this. With how fast Ganon can take a stock with a proper edge guard on Fox here, I think anything is possible. MHJ is gonna have to clean it up a little. I love how MHJ does those like single hit uh, up airs to continue combos. It's beautiful. He did it on me all day today in pools. And two back airs. I don't know if that's enough. Down smash will be enough though. Two two coming into game five. Potential Josh Brody getting bonked out of tournament here. I hope so. I hope so. And he doesn't switch. Respect, respect, respect. But I still wanted people to play the best bracket. But I, I get, I get it, I get it. Let's see if MHJ could. Uh, it's been weird because MHJ won game one hand. And then... You one hand? <laughs> Why did I say one hand? <laughs> you and you one game, one hand. And then, and then, yeah, and then game two and three was full three stocks by Josh Brody. So it's been a very interesting set in that regard. Can we turn game volume down a little bit? Will the mic be, be higher? Yeah, I'll order it, bro. Can I can I do my thing and enjoy my tournament? All right, thank you. All right, oh yeah, all yeah, right. There you go. The mic the mic's turned up now. You just have to. You still just have to actually turn your volume up. Oh yeah, just talk loud. You gotta talk loud. Yeah. This is basically a, a like a singer microphone. Yeah. You gotta eat that. All right, but yeah, no. MHJ coming out to an early lead here. And it looks like he's playing committed, committed, smart, patient. Josh Brody's gonna, it's gonna be tough to just get his in. To, to, to get his grab or to get his hit in neutral. It's just so tough against a player like MHJ, especially with Fox. Lasering Fox just beats most characters. Oh, especially like, if they're massive. Like, look yeah, at the size sure. difference between Fox and Ganon right here. That's just all like hurt box. Oh wow. <laughs> Get up from ledge, F smash. Totally on purpose. Alright, it's looking like Brody's gonna have to fight for his life now if he wants to stay on this tournament. Alright, that was that was good. Yeah, no, beautiful stuff there from MHJ. What? But no, at any point I think Ganon could take a quick stock, so this lead isn't that insurmountable. 
Ooh, the last frame! The last frame of that dash attack takes that stock here. So two stocks to one. We're gonna see how how Josh approaches here. I like that he's using plat to avoid lasers, but yeah, that back air is gonna be big. A warlock punch. Oh, he still opts for the down smash. Another down smash. All right, so clean two stock lead from MHJ. We're gonna see if Josh can. If, yeah, it's gonna be tough. Ganon is just so big that these lasers make it almost impossible to approach. Fox, Fox lasering is just uh, like so good. Oh, it's so especially I, if you're good at if you're good at the lasers. If you could hit short hop double lasers all the time. But here we go. Yeah, it like begins. Josh only needs three hits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> one, Ganon, one grab, yeah. really? And then an edge guard? Oh, this is rough. Oh though. yeah, he doesn't want to be taking this damage, no doubt about it. Oh no, he slipped off the plat. Oh great recovery from Josh. Let's see if he can find his opening here. Doing a good job of dodging these lasers, but just not getting that uh, that input. Does that kill? Yes, uh, it does. MHJ with a nice clean two stock. Well, well played, well played by MHJ there to get that win. Go home and be a family man. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious.